Andrew Hitchens stole your name, your property, your life savings. He should be sitting across the table right now. But unfortunately, you took the law into your own hands and made that impossible. Where are you, Jack? Some fairy tale heaven again? It's all on Hitchens' computer. That's crazy. All your legal degrees and you still don't know what's what. No one stole anything from me. I mortgaged the property. Why? Because I felt like it. Because after four decades of carrying other people's bags, I wanted to get on a plane myself and travel the world. It's my money. I earned it. And there you have it. Without a weapon, you're in no better place than you were the last time we met. There's a Dr. Jackson here. He says he's Mr. Jackson's son. Tell him to go to hell. No, show him in. This meeting is over. Who is this? Shambhala Green. Your son has hired me to represent you in this matter. I've got Aaron. The blind can only lead the blind so far, Dad. I don't need your help, son. I don't want it. Now take your next ex-wife and get the hell out of here. Sorry, Shambhala. In America, a man can still choose his counsel. Not always. You see, while you people have been dilly-dallying, Dr. Jackson has been in family court. Based on the affidavits of respected members of the community and the testimony of his only living son, who just so happens to be a medical professional, Judge Kamer has declared Lonnie Jackson incompetent over his person and property. Judge Kamer did what? I'm his legal guardian now, Aaron. What's this mean? It means that he's fired, Dad, and she's your new lawyer. And just so you don't feel left out, Jack, this is a motion to have Lonnie Jackson declared incompetent to stand trial. How did you find out that your house had been mortgaged, Mr. Jackson? That's not so difficult. I did it myself. I should know. I signed the papers. Of course you did. And what did you do with the money that you received? I was planning on taking a trip around the world. Well, that's nice. What bank did you deposit it in? I forgot. Isn't that a lie, sir? Isn't the truth that you were swindled out of your money? That someone you never met, let alone heard of, used your name, signed some papers, and walked away with your life savings? No, that is not true. And isn't it also true that you didn't even know that you'd been evicted from your own house until the marshal dumped you and all of your belongings out onto the street corner in front of your friends and neighbors? No. And isn't it true that you didn't go to the bank or to the police to complain because you were humiliated? I'm ashamed of nothing I've done, young lady. Do you know what a Pyrrhic victory is, Mr. Jackson? I'm not really sure. That's when you win, but you really lose. Like this hearing. If I win, I get to say that you're competent, in which case I get to go into another courtroom and try to prove that you did something I know you did, but at the same time I can't prove. So why don't we just call it a day? It's what they call going through the motions. It's what I get paid for. So you bear with me? Sure. OK. So what do I know? I know that somehow Mr. Hitchens picked you out of a grab bag as the perfect patsy. That's easy. Everything's on the internet. The fact that you were 79 years old, that you owned a piece of property, free and clear, worth nearly a million dollars. But the best thing from Mr. Hitchens' point of view was that someone like you could never track them down. Because I'm old? You said it. Our computer experts have worked on this for weeks. They came up empty. Maybe they aren't as sharp as me. Let's be serious, Mr. Jackson. You forget your grandchildren's names. How could you possibly figure out? You know out how long it took me? Three days to find him, to kill him, to get rid of the gun. Objection, Your Honor. I am not incompetent. 
It's all of you who are incompetent, not me. Not me. Recess, Your Honor? It's fine with me. All I know is he just confessed on the record. At a competency hearing, the subject of which obviously is still very much in dispute. I'm an old man, you know. I'm not dead. Yeah, I forget what day of the week it is sometimes. But is that such an important thing? I've got a mind. That works just fine. Do you know why I didn't report this to the cops? Because my loving son who sends me a Christmas card and maybe a call for my birthday would have had me put away in some kind of home. At least we'd still own the house. It's not what you own, son. It's what you are. I'm just an old man who deserves to die in the bed he worked to pay for. Do you realize what it's like to wake up one day and everything is gone? That I'm invisible? I've been erased. I've worked my whole life. I bought that house. I had no debt. And this man, this monster, pushes a few buttons and poof, it's over. I'm gone. That Hitchens robbed me of me. He stole my soul. We'll see what we can do about getting your property back, Mr. Jackson. What's the point? It's computers, you know. Taking the place of human contact. This all started because of the computer you gave me to keep me company, so you wouldn't have to pay me no visits. My first email is from a company. Do you want to win a million bucks? So what the hell? I filled it out and returned it. Dad, I warned you about those companies. And you were right, son. But I filled out the form. Langford Lewis Jackson. Now, nobody knows me as Langford. That's how Hitchens knew your real name to get your social security number. And that's also how I knew the email address of the SOB who was ripping me off. But you still didn't know Hitchens' name or where he lived. Now, there's something to be said for almost 80 years of charm, young lady. I talked to the nice woman at the internet carrier, and she was more than happy to help an old man find his granddaughter. I told her I forgot my granddaughter's last name. But I had an email address, and I wanted to give her a call. She was sweet to help me out. Did you know there's a reverse directory on the internet? I got his address. And you went there to kill him? I just wanted my money back. So I took was worth a whole hell of a lot more. My pride, my dignity, my self-respect, me. I took back me. <laughs> me. Jack, we'll talk.